like, what the f What the f is that? <laughs> this is so extra. I love it. That's terrible. It's amazing. Isn't it pretty? Yes. How do I even eat this? We said this? we were making a cheese board. Cheers to the holidays. Cheers. Obviously the holidays are a little different this year. We want to make it a little bit more fun. We consider ourselves the cheese board queens of our friend group. All through quarantine, we have been making cheese boards just for fun. We've done loads of different creations. We haven't gotten like too creative, but like we're about to get super creative. Anyway, so if you haven't seen, there is this new trend going around called charcuterie chalets. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and so, you know like a gingerbread house? This is like that but made of meat and cheese. And frankly, what could be better? Cheese is the best food I don't like gingerbread that much, I know, call me a Grinch, but there's just something about meat and cheese, honestly, I could just live off of it. So we're going to make the daunting task today of trying to create a charcuterie chalet. It's about to get cheesy. It's about to get real cheesy up in here. <laughs> Earlier today, we tried to construct our own homemade crackers to make the walls and the roof of the chalet. I didn't film that because it was very tedious, but now we're going to try to construct it with cream cheese and hope that it comes together. And later today, we're going to Friendsgiving. We were assigned to make the cheese board, of course, but our friends don't know that we're making this very cheesy creation. And they're just thinking we're doing some cute cheese boards like we usually do. So everyone is about to be shook. So pray for us. We're gonna pray to Jesus that <laughs> <laughs> oh my gouda. <laughs> We're gonna pray to Jesus that we can get this thing together. So, let's do this! We made the crackers earlier. We made a little extra, so we made some <laughs> wine crackers. Um, so we're gonna try to put these together with cream cheese and make like a little A-frame house, because that seemed to be the easiest. Um, here's our plate. I feel like you're gonna be the most helpful, Marie, with this. All right, let me not get too drunk then. Okay. <laughs> So before we like actually decorate the charcuterie chalet, I wanted to show you guys all of the toppings and decorations that I got, and I may have gone a little bit overboard. So much meat and cheese, Comte Fresh Gruyere, creamy Toscano that was soaked in wine, uh, the big cheese cheddar cheese, um, more <laughs> Parmesan, and uh, Camembert. We got some Chianti red wine salami and truffle salami. We have an apple, so many different crackers, including the ones that we baked, and some wine glass crackers. We have something special for that. Uh, vegetables and fruit, because you know you gotta add a little bit, a bit of health in there. These just spoke to me to decorate. Maybe we can make like a wreath and stuff and some fresh herbs, but um, yeah. This is, this is a lot. I don't think that I have the best artistic skills, but Michaela and Marie do, so we'll figure it out and make a lovely little snow wonderland house cheese. with cheese. Are you allergic to it, Kansas? No, I'm not. <laughs> wow, <laughs> proud of you. So, first thing we need to do is fill in this gap because the builders kind of made a mistake in it. Damn, they measured wrong. We measured wrong, unfortunately, so. We're gonna fill this with prosciutto. This is a trial and error sort of thing. Did you say I'm not good? I said that cheese I just tried. Oh, does that look okay? Yeah, that's like a good seal. <laughs> Should we make a chimney? Goat cheese, because it's malleable. What big eyes you have. What 
big eyes he has. <laughs> that looks so creepy. This makes my snowman look like deformed. <laughs> And then let's put like pomegranates or something in the middle. Does that look like a wreath? Yeah! Yay. Are you contributing at all, sir? Yes, I'm feeding myself. That's what we're gonna do with it anyway, I'm just practicing. Okay. Over here, Marie is trying to carve a cucumber <laughs> into a tree. <laughs> Don't go in that. Doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Come for the big reveal. I think the people who deserve the most recognition are Michaela and Marie <laughs> because I'm not artistic and Kansas just sat there eating his own chips. It looks so good. And drinking beer. And drinking beer. So, are you guys ready? Yes. Drum roll, please. What the f? What the f is that? <laughs> this is so extra. I love it. That's terrible. It's amazing. Isn't it pretty? Yes. How do we even eat we this? We said we were making a cheese board. Our finished charcuterie chalet. Let me walk you through how we made it. We got some Parmesan and Gruyere snow. Uh, our snowmen are made out of goat cheese. Mine looks a little bit um, questionable, but he has a uh, dill necklace and a prosciutto hat. And then Marie's has a little cucumber hat. She carved a tree out of a cucumber too. We have a dill wreath with pomegranates and uh, salami siding and a roof cracker uh, chimney. We have a fire pit with peanuts <laughs> and marshmallow made out of goat cheese too. Who's gonna like dig into it first? Yeah. Me? Yeah. No, I don't wanna do the honor.